Hey guys, Queso here. Alright, so I finally have gotten around to um, getting my uh, cow video, or, or, what, or getting to this point to make the cow tutorial. So, hopefully by now you've watched my um, silage tutorial, because uh, silage is one of the things that you need. I'm going to put on some baling tutorials as well, because you obviously... Uh, you're going to need bales as well, um, unfortunately, because it is it is quite a manual process and it's kind of cumbersome, but I guess when you think about it, hey, this is farming. So that's what farming is. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll bring up the um, statistics page on our PDA, and then we're going to press the um, 9 key to, and I have it mapped, to, to some buttons on my mouse, but we're going to bring it to the cows owned and the cows, uh, the cows page. So you're gonna, like I said, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need silage to feed the cows. You're going to need hay, which comes from grass. So you have to dry your grass, cut your grass, dry your grass, bale your grass. It's a process. I'll go through, I'll make a tutorial on that. And you also need hay. And hay comes from, uh, sorry, did I already say hay? Sorry, straw. You'll need straw as well. I'll show you in, the, in this vehicle. So hay, silage, and straw. Straw comes from wheat and barley. So when you harvest your wheat and barley, you're left with that trail on the ground. If you bundle them both up, it'll turn it you can bundle it into bales. So if you're interested in doing cows, I would suggest investing in getting a baler and baling up that stuff um early in the game cuz it, it does take quite a bit. Like this was a pretty big field and I didn't even get all you know full a full baling trailer full of grass so anyway so the first thing you need to do is um, one we gotta buy cows in fact let's do that let's purchase some cows just so we can see their percentages so we'll put in 20 cows I'll oh, we'll do 30 we'll round it up all right. All right. Sorry, I had to uh, do some housework here, construction on my on my place. So I had to pause, and I think my video ended up in the night, and now we're daylight. Okay. So we have our thirty cows, and time has passed. So you can obviously see that um, our cows are fo only five percent productive. And they actually have put in 550 liters of milk, and the, as the truck is taking it, and it's gone. So what we're going to do is add um, uh, add in some bales of hay. So we're going to do two hay to one straw, and then we'll top it up with silage. That's the ratio that I use: two hay, one straw. So remember, straw is the lighter colored stuff that comes from hay and, or sorry, wheat and barley, and the hay comes from grass. Now, with the bale fork, is what I have here, you have to hit the bales of hay from their long side, or their broad side, if whatever you want to call it. Um, and not the top part, although I think you can hit it from there, but it's got to be from this edge or else it'll it won't stick in and you'll have you'll push push them all over the place. The Heidemann, if that's the right one, the front loader that swivels or pivots, that one will not the red one um, I believe does not have a, a small bale, bale fork, so you may have that problem of um, you know, of actually trying to get it, you can't use you can't use the pallet fork very easy. So as you see, when I drop it in, it throws or it the mixer comes on and kills the bay bale. So right now we're at 100% um, hay, and that's because that's the only stuff in there. But we're gonna add one more. So let's back up. Uh, 
had to sneeze, so I didn't want to. Sorry for that pause, in case anyone noticed. I didn't want to sneeze into the recording. Okay. So again, kind of like all forklift stuff, line it up. You know, move your camera angle and line it up. So two green, one brown. Tearing up my tile floor because the people that installed it didn't put it down properly and it was all cracking. So I just had pieces of it in my mouth. I used a air chisel to get it to get it up. Okay. So there, that's two bales, and unfortunately I unloaded this one sideways. So we're gonna, because you can see I toppled over the first time I tried to take some. Because I was doing it from the end, and it won't work on the end. You got to get it on its side. All right. So this is straw. That's what comes from this. Sorry, from the ba wheat end Bar barley. I know I covered that off, but okay. So we'll come over here. And we will dump it in. Okay, we'll exit out. And now we'll see that we are at 70% hay and 30% or and 30% straw. Which is accurate because we took we only put three bales in this, two hay, one straw. So th there's each rep which is funny, they should represent 33.3%. But I guess hay must be a uh, larger bale than than straw. But we have more hay than straw is what we want. Okay, so then the next part is silage. I had already put some silage in here. And silage is made up of corn and or um, grass. So the nice thing is, is you can use the cheaper cheaper corn harvester you can use the cheap mowers and f use the foraging wagon instead of having to bale it if you're going to use grass in your as your silage I recommend using um, I recommend using corn because you get more per acreage than you do grass but the grass is cheaper and if you're going to use grass use use the forage wagon okay so a couple things to notice bottom right corner you see the icon for what I'm carrying that's the silage um, or sorry the feed mixed feed logo it's brown right now because it's not optimal so as you as I turn on when I turn on the silage wagon here it's or mix mixer wagon we are going to see that silage percentage increase and the others decrease because it's to the overall overall volume the volume actually they didn't which is interesting okay so we back out everything is in the green you now can see um, and sorry I had turned it off with with B um, and you can see that now my silage icon is white meaning we're good to go and all my percentages are in the green or in sorry in between the hash marks take a look I've got a total of 12,000 liters so that's all I can actually put in here. So, we are going to unload it with the letter Q. And you can see it's interesting that it does some type of a mix first and then we'll actually it's, I think this is actually bugged because the leaders in my wagon didn't actually go down, but the if you can see it, this and you'll probably rewind the video now, but when you you'll see that this actually was spraying out as soon as I hit unload the percentages were doing their mixing and changing and um, but yet the vol overall volume on my wagon wasn't going down so really really strange okay so si the mixed feed alone is not enough to get your cows at a hundred percent so then the, the last thing you need is or should be is straw 
So what I had done here, unfortunately I had, well, not unfortunate, I bailed, the, bailed it all. So I had to get this shredder thing, and it, quite honestly, what a pain in the butt this was to try and put the, the hay in. And I'm sure this is not the right one. It looks like it's supposed to be using a round bale, and potent, possibly you use this to bale it up. I don't, I don't really know how to use this wagon. I never did it. I would recommend a foraging wagon. Just drive over the strips of straw on your um, field and then just pick them up. So we're going to hit Q here and unload into the barn. And you can see the straw in the cow window at the bottom is increasing. And now we are at 100% productivity. So we only need two things, uh, mixed feed and some straw. The straw, like, and again, like I said, the straw is really easy to pick up. I did it with this piece of equipment only because I had already bailed it, and um, I want, you know, this is just a, a testing game. So my cat is my cat is in heat, and you can hear. Okay. Um. So yeah, I was just playing around with the different things, but again, there you go. There is cow farming, 100% um, productivity. And of course, now I will get increased volume of milk uh, because they're more productive. And I, I, I don't know if there's difference in prices, like it just says milk, one, you know, one type. Um, but because they're more productive, they should, they'll produce more. And ultimately, that means more money. So, um, yeah. So that's what I, that's what I recommend. You could see that um, you know, bailing, getting two full wagons. You probably, technically, to get the right ratio, you'll need two grass wagons for every one hay wagon. Um, but you'll, I recommend if you're going to do cow farming, to start saving your materials earlier on because it's a lot. Of it's just a lot of extra work because you're attending to different, you know, a grass field, a hay field. You're trying to bale it up, uh, you know, bale the stuff. It, it's just anyway, it's just a lot of work. See, I can't can't quite get this. Although I know you unload the uh, or open the door. Anyway, if anyone wants to comment on that wagon, go ahead. I haven't, I don't use it um, anyway. So if I was to put, like I said, if I was putting straw in here, I'd use the forage wagon. Alright, I hope that works for you. It's, uh, cow farming is pretty, it's actually pretty simple when you, you know, start looking at it. I haven't thrown it into my career game yet to see how, um, easy it is to maintain it, meaning to go and do other stuff. Uh, I know the sh my sheep farm has 600 sheep. Uh, I've got a big forge wagon. I'm going to do a video on it for like, I'm going to call it high capacity or high volume sheep farming. Um, just to show what I've done, the equipment that I use uh, to to do that. And then technically I guess I would still be able to uh, farm in between it. But anyway guys, I hope that uh, hope that works for you and, and gives you a tutorial on um, or help with your cow farming. Alright. Thanks a lot, and we will. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Later.